Hey, this is Steve for AdRonin, and here's how to customize your YouTube channel. To do this, log into YouTube, go to the top right where you have the logo, go to YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is like the back end for YouTube. From here, you can edit most things. On the left side at the bottom, you'll see settings. Click this, and here we can change our default unit. We can change which country we're in, some keywords. Keywords will just help people find your channel. In advanced settings, uh, you can check whether or not you're uploading videos for kids and the feature eligibility. Now, as a default, you can do video uploads, playlist creation, and a few other things. That is provided you don't have any copyright checks, basically. Um, if you add your phone number, then you can add some more things. You can do videos longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live streaming, and if someone has stolen your copyright stuff, copyrighted material, you can appeal against it here. Upload defaults. These are things that will appear every time you upload a video, so it'll automatically be pre-filled. You can also delete this after you upload the video. Remember, it's easier to delete stuff than it is to write it again. So you can have a naming system if you want here, the description. We have a bunch of links out. For visibility, is it gonna be, in, after you upload the video, will it go public, private, or unlisted? Tags, uh, these help people find your video if there's common misspellings mostly. They don't really help people find your video, but they're not gonna hurt. So we put a whole bunch in here, and if they don't match our video content, we can just delete them later on. In the advanced settings, you can change a few things about your licenses, uh, change your video language, that kind of thing. The rest of it is pretty much okay, we're gonna save. To change the visuals of this, we're going to go to the logo at the top here, View Channel on YouTube. Click on this. And at the top here, we see Customize Channel. On the Channel Customization page, you can choose how your channel will look to people when they visit it. So you can add a, a welcome video, a few other things. If we go to the second one here, Brandon, here we can change this logo. I'm going to change to to, to, to this one it will be a circle so now that is our logo there the banner image it recommends 20 by 48 by 1152 pixels if you go to Canva you can make your own channel art here and if you notice almost all of these have a big old picture and then a small bit of text in the middle except this one, this is a bad one, don't use this one. The reason is this, I'm going to change this. This is my new YouTube channel. Now, only this bit will be shown on everything, so that's why you have the text only in the middle. A big long one on desktop and on a TV, they'll show the whole picture. So I'm gonna change this to my art here, so this is shown on everything. And that looks fine. Down the bottom, you can have a clickable subscribe button. So I'm going to add a new one of these here. Maybe this one. Publish. So that's published, and you can see that everything has changed. Next, we'll go to basic info. Here you can change your channel name and description. The description is basically an about page. Try to use as many keywords as you can naturally. Don't keyword stuff. Don't put, if you're doing a recipe, 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 recipe. They don't like that. Uh, it has to be quite natural and flows quite nice. Your channel URL is this one. You cannot change this URL yet. You need to be partner of the YouTube Partner Program. In order to have this, you need to live in a country where YouTube Partner Program is available. You need more than 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months, more than 1,000 subscribers, and have a linked AdSense account. That means that if you want to change your YouTube channel from this big long one here to YouTube channel Ad Ronin, we need to have 1,000 subscribers before we can do that. These are links that can appear in the, the cards that pop up in the top right hand of the corner. Again, you need to be part of the YouTube partner program for these to appear but these can still appear here on your banner we have some links here one two three four five 
these are the links one two three four five so if I click on one of these it will take us to the website apart from that you can just add your email so people can contact you and that is pretty much how you customize your YouTube channel you should always ask people to like and subscribe your video because it does actually make a huge difference in whether or not someone likes or subscribes so please like and subscribe if you'd like more video tutorials like this one and a whole bunch more on a variety of advertising topics, please visit adronin.blog and good luck with your video channel.